If there were such a thing as a U.S. marathon majors, Houston would definitely be on that list. It's a place where American and world elite come to run fast and break records. So it's time to hop on a plane and head south. This is a runner's weekend in Houston, Texas. Good morning guys, it is a little bit for 8.30 here in Houston, Texas. We're down by the convention center. 5K is going on right now, but I'm trying to get to the shakeout run. So I'm trying to try to cut through this area down here, which I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to make it through, but we'll see. So far, energy levels are high. People are excited, runners are out, sun is shining. It is a beautiful day today. Whew, it's gonna be a lot of fun. Saturday morning started out with a tracksmith group run. Matt Toy was there with an entire social media crew, as were the Believe in the Run and Fuel for the Soul teams. The run featured some beautiful temps along the river in Houston, although it's not technically a river, which is confusing. And I had a chance to make new friends and catch up with some old friends, like Sadiq, who I first met several years ago at a Kofuzi Run Club in Seattle in 2019, back when a Kofuzi Run Club event was considered a success, when even just five people showed up. Sadiq now lives in Houston, and his presence reminded me just how connected the running community can be. After the tracks from the shakeout run, I had to leave pretty quickly and head out to my own shakeout run that I had organized. All right guys, we're going from one shakeout to another. And of course I got us lost, we went the wrong way. <laughs> so we would have made it exactly on time, but I took us a mile in the wrong direction. Good shakeout. Yeah, <laughs> so now we're gonna be a little bit late, but we're getting there, we're on our way. Sorry guys, if you were waiting. Good to see everybody here. Thanks everyone for showing up. Sorry I'm late. So 1.2 and 2.5. Those are like the numbers that you'll want to remember to try and find the bridges. If you kind of mess up and end up on the one of the wrong paths because there's a lower one and a higher one, don't worry because you'll still, if you like, that's the bridge I want. If you're not on the right path, you'll be able to find some stairs. So hopefully it won't be too tough. And if you get lost, I'll catch up to you eventually. So we'll be out there. Does that sound good, everybody? Yeah. Everybody, Who's racing the half tomorrow? We got some half racers in the full. Everyone else around the full. Whoa, awesome. I can be a lady. <laughs> <laughs> awesome, guys. The first time the Kofuzi Run Club Houston met was three years ago, and it was just a handful of us. But it was such a special group. I first met Farah at that group run, and she's the one who designed the shakeout run route that we ran both in 2020 and in 2023. I was so happy with the turnout, both back then and today and for the opportunity to run with everyone. I'm always honored that people would entrust me to lead their shakeout run before an important race day. And it's incredibly gratifying to see when on that run, people can make new friends along the way. guys it is now about 3 30 in the afternoon and everything's kind of Hello. wrapping up for the day marathon prep wise but i did have one more thing that i wanted to do today and i'm going to combine it with another run because i don't know how much i'm going to be able to actually run tomorrow i know i'll be running around a lot chasing people but i don't know how much actual running i'll do so i wanted to get some extra miles and bank some miles for the weekend and I wanted to scope out the starting line area and then 
of a couple of spots that I want to check out to get footage of the pros as they come through on the race. So let's do that and combine it with a little bit of extra running because it is a beautiful day. I think with the way that there's like a river or the bayou that cuts through the city and the way the highways are, I think that it might be easier for me to get around if I camp out to get people after the one mile marker up here. And then I could cut down Sabine, which is where we met for the shakeout run today. I could cut down through that street, which I'm a little bit more familiar with anyway. And then, catch people like right at mile 12 of the half marathon. So I think that's my, maybe what I'll do. All right, now I am running towards the finish line on the course today. This is Lamar Street. This will be like the final straight away you can see there's barriers so I'm not sure if this will be a good spot for me to try and scope out the race because then I might be blocked from trying to get across the street if I need to do that but it doesn't look like this barricade is on this side yet so maybe this will be a good spot How's it going guys? Good. <laughs> look at the shoes, look at the shoes. Awesome. It's like the first mile. So. I know. Ease into it. You got beautiful weather today, nice and overcast. You're looking strong. I was looking for Ben Johnson. Definitely missed him. Yo! Yo! Definitely missed him because we're at the three hour pace group now and that's way behind where he is. So I'm gonna try to cut across now and uh, get over to the end of the half marathon because that lead pack came through at about like 4.30, 4.45, something like that crazy for the first mile. They're gonna be done really soon. And this is a big group. It's gonna be hard to cut across. Yo! Yo, good to see you, man. Go get it. Let's go, 310. I thought I could find Thomas, but I, miss, I think I missed him too. So now I'm gonna cut over towards the finish. Let's see what I can see over there. I'll have, hopefully, about 10 or 15 minutes to catch my breath once I get over there. We are at the 20K mark, or the 41K mark for the marathoners. 
it is windy down this way. It's a headwind all the way to the finish, and it's a stiff wind too. It's gonna be interesting to see who comes down at this shoot first. Go on, man. I haven't seen you since Chicago. Yeah. I wasn't ever sure you were gonna make it to the airport that has your home. You got it. I think that's all the elites that I've been tracking today at half. <sighs> I'm so tired. I haven't seen Marielle yet. Where's Marielle? Come on, it's the last incline. Let's go, let's get it. Let's get it, last incline. Let's get it, let's get it. How you feeling? Ready. You always got a smile, man. You're looking so good. Marathon season starts today, baby. Yeah, you make it look easy. Have a good one, man. Enjoy Houston. Crush it, crush it. Let's go. Good, go down. Good job, Amelia. Looking good, man. Looking good. Uh, hip. Yeah, good. I'm just cruising it in. Awesome.
guys. Now in the post race area. I'm gonna try to find everybody. There's so many people here. Ooh. Hopefully they're they're probably by the beer, right? Let's go find the beer. Yo, I finally found you guys! Hey! Oh, you did so good out there. Thank you. Good. Hey, good to see you, man. Thank you, thank, thank you for the. Good to see you out there. Was it fun to spectate? Good to see you. Yeah, it was. Like, I Congratulations, you. everybody. Yeah. Great job, man. Thank you. Hey, can you get Megan's rest of your day? Low pony. <laughs> Low pony. What's on the side? That one? Oh, it rubbed off. It, oh, well. it said Murray Strong. Oh. <laughs> Last year, I watched the Houston Marathon from home. And so many people were there and so many incredible stories unfolded there that I felt like I had to be there in person this year. And you know what? Houston did not disappoint. A lot of people over the weekend were surprised that I would travel all the way to another city for a race I wasn't running in. But this weekend was some of the most fun I've had as a runner. I got to see Emily Sisson break her own American record in the half, and I got to see, once again, just how impossibly fast professional runners are. But most importantly, it really filled my heart to see my friends run well and have a good time chasing good times. I'm just so proud of them.